Hello, my name is Sam. I work with the Gold Watch Company here in Miami, Florida. Today I'm going to teach you how to set the dual time zone on your GMT Master 2 watch. In front of me I have a GMT model number 16710. This is an F serial manufactured in the year 2003-2004. It has the coke bezel, the black and the red bezel insert on it. Um, in order to, un to set your dual time zone, what you're going to want to do is unscrew the crown of the watch by turning it counterclockwise until it pops out into its winding position. This is a position you would go to once you haven't worn the watch for a couple of days and the movement has stopped. You simply turn it clockwise about 40 to 50 times and the second hand will start moving and jump start the movement. Because the GMT has a dual time zone, the middle position on the crown is actually still to change the date rapidly. However, instead of moving the date wheel 24, 25, 26, it will move the hour hand one hour at a time, which will help us set the, tool, the dual time zone. The way I like to do it is very simple. You have your rotating bezel. Each number on the bezel represents an hour. So you have the triangle will be 12 o'clock at night. The first dial will be 1 o'clock, then 2, the second dial will be 3, 4, so on and so forth. What you're going to want to do is pull the crown all the way out where it will allow you to start moving the minute hand. For every hour that you move the minute hand, the red additional hour hand will move about a half hour's worth of space, which will get you into either the 10, the 11 or the 12. So you see if I move an hour, one to the 12 11 o'clock marker, another hour will get me to the 12 o'clock marker. So if I want to set 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock in a different time zone, I will move it all the way to the red hour hand is showing at the 18 marker, which will be 6 o'clock somewhere else. Now I have already set my additional time zone. What I could do is push the crown back in go back to the middle position and now set my hour individually as long as as well with my date so I'm gonna wanna go to the 11th I'll get there in just a minute and we're almost there 9 okay now I'm going to pass 12 o'clock marker one more time to put it on PM and I'm going to set my time to 4 PM. Push the crown back in, turn it clockwise to seal it and now I got my dual time zone. I have my 4 o'clock local time and my 6 o'clock uh, central time. It's the same exact the All, same right. model All GMT's stainless steel models pretty much work the same as regards to the movement. Um, over here you can see I have another stainless steel GMT coke bezel model which is the red and the black insert. Um, this one's a little bit of an older watch. It's a T-Serial which is a watch manufactured in the mid-1990s. You can see however holding them both next to each other they kind of will look identical. However there are a couple minor differences between the two. If you look on the side of the case the 2004-2005 model does not have holes on the corners. Whereas the 1990s model, you can see there's a hole on each corner where the pin is holding the band and the case of the watch together. You see in each corner. In the 04 model, there's a little crevice on the end piece which will allow you to remove the pin. That, that's how uh, you take the band apart from the case of the watch. Those pretty much uh, the only differences between this watch. Another difference would be the, um, the end piece, as you can see here, the end piece is actually able to separate from the band. So this will become two separate pieces. And I could give you, I could show you an example of how that would look. If I just go take my pin pusher, I could easily just put in this hole. Push in. You can see I took the pin and the span out. Now if I remove this pin, see it separates from the watch.
this is how all 1990 sport models were done two-tone subs uh, steel subs steel GMTs two-tone GMTs all manufactured the same way they just they have what's this is known as a non sawed end link I'm gonna put this back together real quick we'll simply just move it back into the hole and the watch is back together now if you look at our 2004 model Okay, I'm going to have to pull the pin out through this little cut in the end link. And when you see when I pull it out, how the end link is actually connected to the band. It's one piece, it's not two separate pieces. So even if I were to take out this pin, which is a little hard, there we go. It does not separate it. That's one advantage, and they started doing that in the early 2000s before they even uh, started making the no holes case. The first thing they added to any watch, a two-tone sub or a stainless steel sub or GMT, whatever it be, they made this link, uh, known as a solid end link, connect to the band where it will not separate it. Uh, however, movement-wise, um, they're all pretty much the same. They work exactly the same. They're both meant for dual time zones. They both have the red additional hour hand. Um, this watch was manufactured with a couple of different bezel inserts. You have the um, red and black, which is known as the Coke model. And then you'll see uh, an insert, which is all black, just plain black insert. And obviously the one most customers tend to like better would be the Pepsi insert, which is the red and the blue instead of the black. If you have any questions um, or interested in any of the models, they can all be found on our website online at www.goldwatchco.com or you can give us a call at 1-877-503-4055.